Hello, this is Chaotix. Same thing as the previous item silence here list. Uh, this was streamed live here on YouTube, and this is a slightly more condensed version, edited to not be nearly two hours long. Next tier list will likely be all of the misc items, as well as all the stuff that those misc items can give. And like before, I've left a link to the tier list I've made in the description if you want to make your own. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, like, comment, and subscribe, yada yada yada, you get the gist. Let's roll. So, uh, you'll notice there's one less tier because I felt like I will become the Joker and escape with Sarpa Center were a bit too similar, so... Now it's just, I will become the Joker. Are you ranking Emperor? No, that will be under Misks when we get around to doing that. So these are the tiers for this tier list. I will become the Joker. It's the same as last time. It's weapons that I just don't like. Don't like using either because it's underpowered or it's just weird, I guess. They're fucking weak bomb. It's just weapons that, you know, I can use. I'm just not a big fan of it. Uh, superior specific maps and modes. I added this uh, from a suggestion that someone made. A lot of these, some of these have knockback, which will be very useful in certain maps. And a lot of these, I think some of them actually have like certain variables in other modes like zombie survival. So, um, you know, they could be useful there. Doom 2 shotgun. Super Shotgun. Just like the Doom 2 Super Shotgun, you're pretty, you're always happy to have it. So it'll be probably the main source of your damage unless you get like a really, really good melee. And ultra kill. Yeah, you're just gonna ultra kill everyone. Right? And just like before, we have Roblox up and running, ready to, you know, show off what these do exactly and so I can get, like, a better opinion. So, yeah, starting from the top, we have the 9mm. Now, the 9mm, you know, like most hit scan, like most hit scan weapons, it's always good. Like most hit scan weapons in, um, in this game are always good to have, you know? Yeah, it's a slow fire rate, but, you know, again, it's hit scan. Hit scans always are good to have. And be, yeah, obviously, this can be upgraded as well to get the ammunition coupon. And then you get the micro SMG, which is just a bit of 9mm. The spread kind of sucks, but it's still it's still a decent weapon. I don't think it's quite ultra kill though. I do think. I do think it's decent though, so. Put the 9mm there, and I'll put the micro SMG above. The Doom 2 above in Doom 2 Super Shotgun. Speaking of Super Shotguns, the AirPod Shoddy. Uh, the AirPod Shoddy is also, like, pretty damn good, all things considered. You know, it's a shotgun. Get close up, sir. You can one shot. It's good. And yeah, this is probably going to go right to the top of um, Doom 2 Super Shotgun. But the real reason, when you reach AirPod Ascension and you get the AirPod AA12, which is insane. It does a crap ton of damage. It can still send you upwards, which can be useful for dodging like certain attacks. A12 should be able to kill. I agree. I do agree. Airpod Shoddy, uh, top of Doom 2 Super Shotgun. Airpod A12 in Ultra Kill. Uh, America! <laughs> this is just an extremely funny weapon because. You just get. You, you, you just die when you use it. You, you just die whenever you use it, but like, you can't be mad at it. Yeah, it's, it's basically just a death note that you actually have to aim with. It's good. Ultra kill? I disagree, considering, you know, you die with it, you get one shot. And even if you miss, you die anyway. But yeah, I think it's bottom of Doom 2 Super Shotgun, because I'm always happy to have it. Uh, Anchor from the Sky. This is another one of these weapons where to get it, you have to perfect run Ouija to get this one. Unfortunately, you can, you have to perfect run Ouija to actually get this. What do you think? The Anchor is kind of um, a whatever thing, to be honest. It's a bit of a less cooldown. Yeah, it, it's pretty mid, but on certain maps, this can be good. On certain maps, this can actually be really good. A better hitbox than Bible. I think they're rough. I imagine they're about the same. We'll have to compare them once we reach the Bible. But uh, yeah, uh, this definitely goes into superior and specific maps and modes. It's not great on its own, to be quite honest. It's decent in most maps. It's just really good in others. Uh, the APC, this is a new one. And it's kind of um, hilarious. You, you just throw an entire fucking APC at them. I miss because I'm an idiot. But <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a long cooldown, which makes sense. But like, it also does 60 damage, insane knockback. It's funny. I think the cooldown is the only thing keeping it from being um, an ultra kill or even doomed to super shotgun. Actually, no, actually, I do think it's better than America. This on base play will kill anyone. That is true. On a lot, a lot of maps, um, 
Actually, yeah, no. You know what? I'm actually going to move this to the top end of um, superior specific maps. Uh, the Apparition. You know, you don't want fun. Wario show you fun. Uh, this kind of is just whatever. I mean, cooldown isn't too long. Takes three kills to um, actually kill anyone. Oh, yeah, it does pass through walls. So, like, uh, if I put a combat dummy here. Yeah. So it goes through walls, which is good. Going through walls is really good. Means you can get some pretty cheesy kills, but I don't like it all too much, but like I'm not too upset if I get this. This is definition of a wee ball kind of weapon for me. Yeah, it's middle of the road. Uh, the asteroid. This is another uh, new weapon. Asteroid. Does a decent amount of damage. Very fast projectiles. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not mad if I get this. And then you got the four attack mode. Where you just shoot a crap ton of them. And that's pretty good, although it has a pretty long cooldown. Yeah, I'm not too mad when I get this, but like, it's also kind of, it's kind of mid. Yeah, I think it's above Apparition. Uh, Asylum Treasury Key. This sucks, you will become the Joker. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see that. I mean, it's, it's difficult to aim. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Pushes them around because of the amount of props. Yeah, I think I think I would actually become the joke if I get this. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get pushed off the map by Asylum Key. Really? Well, I guess that's true. Like you can push like people off the edge. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, now nah, I'll put it bottom of fuck it, Weebo. It's not bad. It's very underwhelming. Uh, the Bibble. Right. I did want to do a comparison with Anchor of the Sky, so I turn on hitboxes. They look about the same. I think it's just slightly bigger for the Anchor. Yeah, the Bible does um more damage. But, like, not by much. Anchor's quicker, but Bible does more damage. So, I, I'd say they're about equal, to be honest. Yeah, it can do 90 damage against certain of us, actually. So, you know what? Yeah, I think it's about here. Uh, the Blaster. Okay, the Blaster is decent, honestly. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but the projectiles are pretty fast. Yeah, and it has infinite ammo. You have no cooldowns to worry about. I don't mind the Blaster, actually. I'd say this is probably... Yeah, I think above America. No, actually, below America in, uh, Doom 2 Super Shocker. It's boring, yeah, but it will definitely get you a bunch of kills. Uh, the bottle. The bottle kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah, you you need a decent weapon with and the bottle, and even then, like, no, no. Yeah, I will become the Joker. I will absolutely become the Joker. Uh, the bow. Uh, you throw shovels at people, and it does a pretty decent death amount of damage, I believe. Oh, and it ragdolls them too. Yeah, this is just like a better bottle, honestly. Like, yeah, there's more cool, more of a cooldown, but it does way more damage, and it knocks them back further. I don't mind having this in any map, to be honest. Like, it's definitely better in a lot of maps than others, but like, I can still get a pretty decent amount of use out of it. So, I think above America, actually. I do think it's above America. Bowl of delectable food. I'll be real. I don't like that. I don't like this weapon a lot. Yeah, you got really small projectiles. Like, that you can barely see them. Pretty music. I have music turned off. You got the ball blast, which doesn't do a which, which is okay. Yeah, it has a little bit of splash damage. And you can't hurt yourself with it. You know what I'm trying to aim for these and it's still doing no damage? Like, look at this! I don't like this weapon. I will become the Joker. It's more you it's absolutely more usable than the bottle, but I hate using this thing. I hate I hate using it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I think if the ball blast actually ragdolled, I think it could be decent. But as it stands, no, nah, I don't like it. Uh, Brimstone. Um, this isn't great either, to be quite honest with you. Like, it can push people, but, like, it do also doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's also better on a some, some more maps than others, to be honest. Like, you can push them in there. Yeah, it's absolutely, like, a really good combo weapon. Because, like, yeah, it can combo with pretty much anything. So I do think it'll go into superior specific maps and game modes. On most of them, it's kind of whatever. But, yeah, I think here is... Here's about right. Uh, the British Bazooka. Um, you know, I'm, I'm British, so, like, you know, gotta respect my heritage, right? But, um, now this, this also kind of sucks, to be quite honest. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Pretty slow. It can ragdoll. It can ragdoll, though, which is nice. And it takes occasionally you get teacups, which do do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's definitely a wee ball tier. I think probably like um, above apparition, but below asteroid. Uh, the camera is done then. 
and that's it. That's it. You, you, you just stun them for a little bit. Um, I, it can unequip people. Oh, yeah, it does unequip people's weapons as well. Yeah. Um, so even still, yeah, I don't like this one either. Might actually be worse than the iPod. I can see that, but like, yeah, no, I, it's a better bottle, but that's about it. Uh, Canadian Riot. This one's just really funny. Because, like, half the time you'll kill yourself or the teammates with it if you're on a team um, game mode. Yeah, Yo, you chuck a trash can at them. Ragdolls does pretty decent knockback. Yeah, it's just funny. It's a really funny item. And honestly, it's not even too bad either. I, I gotta mention this as well if you're not in my Discord because I posted it there. But um, when I was getting the screenshots for the tier list, um, when I was doing Canadian Riot, my game crashed whilst I was trying to... Um, Stand like as soon as I stood on top of a trash can with it. But yeah, uh, this is definitely like really good in specific maps. I'd say I'd say it's actually better than the APC because you can you get more um you can do that more often, even though it has a uh, smaller hitbox. Uh, Cero, not to be confused with Cero Metro Letter. Okay, you just get a box. <laughs> you just get a big box of damage. You stand still. Jesus. It's too long. I mean, yeah, I, I can see that, but my god. Oh, it goes it goes damn far. Like, you can definitely get some cheesy kills with this. Yeah, Cero's good, honestly. I don't mind having Cero. Uh, I think it's below the blaster. It's just a better brimstone. It really is just a better brimstone, even though it doesn't do um, any knockback. You get Legion Cardo with Cero. Is that a thing, actually? Does that actually have them? Um... Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, the Shadow Gun, I did not realize there was a different variant of it. It's kind of a worse version, like it recharges faster, but uh, how much damage does this one do actually? Let's see. Oh, oh no, it does the same amount of, okay, no, that's better than the original Cero then. Yeah, I think Cero can stay where it is. Uh, Chicago. This one's just a classic weapon. Like, you're never mad if you get Chicago. Like, you can pick off people from a very far away. And it's 100% accurate. Absolutely always, always happy to have. I think it might even be an ultra kill tier. So, like, this thing can single-handedly get you, like, a bunch of kill streaks. Too late. Uh, I'll put it in the tier list after the stream. I'll put it in the tier list after the stream. But, uh, yeah, Chicago, I think it's an ultra kill tier. Um... Just because of how, like, really good it is. If that's the case, I think it would actually be better than bow. I think I'll put it here, then. If you do get the Shadow Gun variant. China Lake. This is the epitome of superior and specific maps in game modes. Because it just sends them flying. You know, recharge isn't too long. Decent amount of damage. You'll, you'll be very annoying. You'll be the most annoying person on the server when you get this. Yeah, I think it's probably, like, the top of uh, superior and specific maps in game modes. Christmas. Can you believe it, guys? Just a week away. Do not fact check that. You know, you throw a bunch of shit at them and like, that's about it. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but you know. <laughs> it's a good weapon to annoy people with from a distance. For sure it has to be nerfed. That would make sense. I don't mind this, honestly. I think it's below the blaster, but it's still decent. Uh, Cinder block. I hate this thing. <laughs> like, okay. Decent amount of damage. But like, good luck hitting anyone that's moving with this. Like, if anyone is actually moving with this, it's actually impossible to hit. I will become the Joker. I agree. Still better than the bottle. And the camera. The crossbow is really good, honestly. You can one shot with this thing if you aim for the head. Like, yeah. I, I really like the crossbow. It takes a little bit to reload. Like, even getting a body shot, like, you still do a lot of damage. I think this might actually go in ultra kill tier. I'm definitely thinking about it. Now, I'll, I'll put it in top of Doom 2 Super Shotgun. And I might consider moving it to ultra kill tier. Uh, Daratango Influence. This one's kind of a whatever thing. I'm pretty sure this ragdolls. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, does this go through walls? I don't remember if it does. Yeah, it does. Uh, this is definitely a um, better... This is definitely way better in specific maps than others. This is a place for Apparition. No, Apparition's still here. It's, yeah, it's, it's just a better Apparition. I don't know why they have both. This is way better. Uh, Dinner Blaster. Dinner Blaster's pretty decent, in all honesty. You know, fast projectiles. They always move in straight lines. They bounce around. I don't think um, bouncing them actually hits them, though. Dinner Blaster is good. I do think it's a slightly better Kentucky. Not by much. 
But it is a slightly better Kentucky. I'm going to put this above the Micro SMG, actually. I think I would rather have the Dinner Blaster than the Micro SMG. Bouncing does hit them. Okay. I actually, no, that would make sense, wouldn't it? A uh, Distressed Red Ball. This is the mo ultimate spam weapon. Because, like, it doesn't do a lot of damage. But you can throw a shit ton of these. You just fill an entire room. Yeah, you're going to steal a bunch of kills with this. That's the thing. This isn't great, but, like, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. So, I think probably... I think I would actually rather have um, the Treasury Key. Yeah, on certain maps with, like, you know, really small spaces, it's decent. But uh, the DVD logo, um, this is a new one. And for my testing, it's... Very much depends on the map. So I'm just gonna spawn a bunch of dummies in like this room here. It only hits like, I think... Yeah. It just bounces around. Hits a bunch of people. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, it can- it does hit yourself. It's kind of- it's kind of bad, to be honest. Like, even in enclosed spaces, it just doesn't do enough damage. No, yeah, I do think I'd become the Joker. I don't think it's as bad as the ball. That's the cinder block, though. Uh, what is next? Earth Tome. Earth Tome is pretty damn good. So the Earth Tome has, like, several different things you can do. So first off, you hit people. It's basically... This attack is basically a worse vampire in ice, but it's still decent. And then you've also got some spells you can use. So, obviously, your first one, you can summon a tree. It drops apples, and you can eat them. But the second spell, um, you're gonna have to hold it down for, I think, was it like 15 seconds? I don't remember. 15 seconds, you get a shield icon, and you get a defense buff, which is nice. Defense buff is nice. Yeah, and I believe, yeah, 45 seconds. There we go. And then you summon a golem with 300 health. He walks funny, but like, it's not really worth spending 45 seconds to summon. To be quite honest with you. Even still though, the Earth Tome is pretty good. I'd say it's probably up here in Doom 2 Super Shotgun. Hello Oswald. Uh, what where? I think not as good as bow. Ebony and Ivory. So, Ebony and Ivory used to be one of my favorite items in the game. And I still really like Ebony and Ivory, but I do believe it's gotten nerfed slightly. Like it does, just doesn't do as much damage. Like, even still, I'm always happy to have Ebony and Ivory. You can hold down the button and shoot them. Decent range, even though I have a little bit of spread. Got Demonic Infusion, which does, like, I think, like, triples the damage. You got Rainstorm, which is just really cool. Like, and that hitbox is pretty large for that. Yeah. Even though it's been nerfed, I do really like this weapon still. I still really like this weapon, but it's definitely, like, not Ultra Kill tier anymore. And yeah, it has an interaction with Ultra Instinct. I would still would rather have, I think, this over uh, the Micro SMG, though. Because it's good. Uh, Fantasy Seal. This is super annoying to fight against, because it is completely homing. Doesn't matter where you are. Goes through walls. Cooldown is pretty long. But like, you know, I'm always happy to get um, Fantasy Seal. You can't fully control where it goes, but like... Even still, I'm always happy to have Fantasy Seal. I'd say... What the hell? I'd say it's... Um, not as good as Earth Tome, but still pretty damn good. Um, Flying Guillotine. TF2 bias again, although actually not this really, because this one is just kind of whatever. Yeah, 60 damage, does bleeding, so it takes him down to 16. <laughs> I didn't realize it actually... Actually, no, that's funny that it actually um, has a unique um, head when you kill someone with it. That's funny. <laughs> it's it's difficult to aim. It's, it's pretty difficult to aim, honestly. But, like, it still does a decent amount of damage. I'm not mad when I get this. This is definitely the top of Fuck It We Ball, though, because I'm just not good at using this thing. <laughs> uh, football! It's a football! I chiseled it! Uh, football's decent, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, you chug a football, send them flying. Can be good in super- can- can be good in certain maps. <laughs> Even then, it also does a decent amount of damage. Even still, this is definitely really good in specific maps more than others. It's kind of a worse APC. Uh, for real! Doesn't do a lot of damage, and, you know, you have to wait a little bit. But, you did. Yeah, hit him in the head. Yeah, you have to aim slightly above the head, I think. Just slightly. 
on or not. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah. It's difficult to win. It's difficult to be effective with this thing. Yeah, it basically instant kills um, when you hit the head. It's decent. Like, I wouldn't mind having it, but I also, like, not great at using it. Uh, freeze Ray, I will become the Joker. There is no punchline. Freeze Ray just kind of sucks. If I'm being completely honest. Yeah, you freeze him. Does 10 damage. But, like, it doesn't freeze him for enough. I mean, yeah, you can combo with items. But, like, you're... Yeah, I agree. It is a better bottle. But, like, that is not saying much. Uh, Grand Javelin. Grand Javelin's decent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you hit him. He gets sent flying. Shrimp was that. This is definitely better on certain maps than others, I think. Because of the uh, knockback. And the fact that you have to wait around. Wait a while, but yeah. This is definitely better in certain maps and others. I'd say it's above football. Uh, Grand Volley, though. This is the weapon you get from the from doing the perfect run of 10 hour burst, man. Uh, you just kill them. <laughs> you just kill them. It has a longer recharge, but you just kill them. But uh, yeah, Grand Volley is good. It's definitely going into Doom 2 Super Shotgun. But I don't think it's as good as Blaster, just because of that cooldown. Are you able to have gotten? Yeah, all these are able to be gotten in public servers. Uh, Grasshor. Grasshor used to be really good at some point, I'm pretty sure. And now it's just kind of like... You go fishing. Fishing yeah, it's kind of like a worse silly sink. gas now. You swim until you drown. You swim until you get hungry and you starve. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it can kill if the player is standing still. But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a wee ball weapon. Um... I would rather have this than um, the British Bazooka, but that's about it. A Hitman, Hitman with the Hit Plan. Um, it's kind of like a, it's just it's just the worst fantasy seal because you have to wait a while for the um, you have to wait a while for the cooldown. So yeah, it's just it's just the worst um, fantasy seal. Yeah, and it doesn't go through walls. Yeah, it does knock back, which is nice, but the cooldown I don't think helps. I'd say. Right at the bottom. Right at the bottom here. A uh, Hound is up next. Okay, 60 damage and... Oh, wait, yeah, no, it circles back, doesn't it? I forgot. I forgot, yeah. Yeah, you can see it trying to target them. It's very much better in open spaces. This is definitely better on certain maps than others. Hyperlaser. I've never actually seen this one. It's not bad, actually. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, you know, it's pretty quick. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is hit scan. No, it's just really fast. It's not broken. But it is pretty powerful. This is... This is a better 9mm. Even though it's not hit scan. Uh, the intervention is kind of ridiculous. I um, do this. So, how this works... You shoot it. Does 55 damage. Which is already, like, pretty decent. And you have to reload after, like, every 5 shoot. Every 5 shots. But... You gotta do quick scope. You do 101 damage. You reload instantly, and you don't lose any ammo from it as well. Yeah, become the card montage um, YouTuber you were destined to be. Yeah, intervention's really good. I'd say it might actually be an ultra kill tier. Yeah, you do need some skill to use it, like quick scoping, but uh, yeah. I'd say it's right. I'd say it's actually above. Sh no, yeah, actually, I think it's above Chicago iPod sucks ass. And I don't know a single bloody person who actually likes using this thing. I mean, okay. It's decent for knockback. Like, that is it. I hit them, apparently. What was that hitbox? You literally hear the sound and you don't... And it does nothing. It f it's actually dog shit. You have to get up into an opponent's nose to, s to just slightly actually deal damage. Like, what is this? Are you tip below, Joker? You're fine. You're just for you, chat. There we go. Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky is pretty damn good, all things considered. Yeah, you spam the hell out of it. It's really annoying. And it sets them on fire, which means you can um, combo with stuff like sun and a stick. Oh, yeah. It's it's burned for a while, plush. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just it's just a better um, distressed red ball. Uh, where do I put this, though? Bottom of a uh, Doom 2 Super Shotgun. Because, like, I'm never mad when I get this. Okay. King Tusks. This is a very, very divisive one. Half the time, you miss. 
The other half, you do 80 goddamn damage. Glorified melee, I disagree, because like you can actually get pretty far with it. It just, it definitely takes some getting used to, and it's weird. I don't hate it, actually. I actually don't hate King Tusks. Should do a bit more damage. I think 80 is plenty. Like, if you want to ask me, like, before, because I, I believe it actually got buffed to be a little more consistent. If you ask me before the buff, it would be in down here, but I do think I'd ball with it now. I actually wouldn't mind balling with it. So, next up on this tier list is Lilinette. So, Lilinette is pretty good. Damn good amount of damage. Pierces enemies, which is already really good. Does it go through walls, actually? Let me check. Oh, it goes through walls! Oh, hang on, that's, that's insane. And of course, what everyone is here for, Sarah Metro Letter. It's just a big fuck you gun. And 200 damage for that? Like, that's good. Uh, this is definitely, this is definitely an ultra kill tier. It's just really, really good. Yeah, Little Annette is definitely ultra kill tier. Love Struck, on the other hand. I fucking hate using this thing. I'll say it. I, I don't know how this gun works sometimes. It doesn't even have like, it's not even like proper hit scan. It's not, um, no full range. You have a heat system to worry about. Oh, it's gonna get a rework, really. Love Blast is decent though. And for that reason alone, for that reason alone, it will go under. Here. It is mid, and I don't like using it, but it can be good. And yeah, I'm hoping the rework does um, does something uh, cooler with it. Uh, the M1911. It's just a good gun. M1911 is just a good gun in general. You have five kills, and you get the Mad Dude's Wisdom, which, which is just insane. Reloads, like, really quickly. You can easily spam this. Yeah, I'd say M1911. Um, a blow of ebony and ivory. Mad Eve shotgun in ultra kill. Uh, mad handgun. This is in red. Because this is an item you can only get in certain game modes. Namely, I believe it's uh, murder and kits. So if you'll just give me a second to find it. This is insane. And in one shots with headshots. Easy two shots. Oh, it, oh, I can one tap. Yeah, no, this is absolutely going in ultra kill tier. i say above Mad Eve shotgun. Had a bit of clip size. I mean, yeah, but like, it also reloads pretty much instantly. It is cracked. I say about here. The only reason it's below intervention is because you can get intervention in a free-for-all. Mad Sheriff, on the other hand, kind of sucks. Yeah, it's two shots, but it is so slow. Yeah, in murder, I believe it in one shot. Like, it's, and it's hit scan, right? Like, you can't really go wrong with hit scan, but this is by far my least favorite hit scan weapon. I don't like Mad Sheriff. But it's still good. I would rather have it over a lot of these weapons. Like, even over America, to be quite honest. It is still nice to have. Makarov. This is a spam weapon, this. But also, like... Okay, this does more damage than headshots. But, like, it also um, doesn't do a lot of damage anyway. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, five shots to the head will kill them. And... And nine shots to the body will kill them. Yeah, it's not bad. But I think I would actually rather have um, the Mad Sheriff. And probably America, actually. Actually, no, I think I would have. I saw America. Uh, Marksman Revolver. Okay, I have Ultra Kill bias this time. Because I fucking love Ultra Kill. If you haven't played Ultra Kill, you should. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage, which, you know, that's fair. Even still, like, hit scan. Hit scan is good. It scans always good. They got coins to shoot, which does a clean what clean basically 30 damage. And if you hit the and it can split shot. Yeah, I like the marksman revolver. Although I do it looks like you still do have to be like have the enemies on screen to do anything with it. Yeah, all four coins will get you 82 damage. Yeah, it's good. I don't mind it. I don't mind it, even if the damage is a bit low. I think it's just above Mad Sheriff. Yeah, Meteor. Jesus Christ! <laughs> that is actually kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it's just an explosive asteroid. Yeah. And it does like insane knockback and ragdoll. This is absolutely... It might actually be better than China Lake, actually. I think it might actually just be slightly better than China Lake. Yeah. 
I think it is just a better China leak. Yeah, Michael Payne, um, commonly considered to be one of the absolute most annoying weapons in the game. And for good reason. You, you just get a sphere. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but my God, is it annoying. There it is. Of course, you got Friday Funkin' stuff here as well, because it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really funny weapon. I don't think it's strong enough to go into Ultra Kill, though. Actually, you know what? No. I say bottom. Bottom of Ultra Kill tier. Because of certain kits. Like, I've played more kits and um, stuff recently. If someone gets Michael Payne, you got the, um, the, uh, Toho kit, where you have one health. Like, you just die. Yeah, I think right at the bottom of Ultra Kill. Um, uh, Milk. Milk is pretty damn good. You chuck, you chuck, you throw it at them, it gets set on fire, and they take a good amount of knockback. Yeah. Are like, you just throwing two milk bottles at them? We'll kill them. I'd say just below China Lake. Oh, is it better than China? No, it is better than China Lake, actually. Because it's just China Lake, but it also sets them on fire. Uh, misery. I don't like. I don't like, I don't like misery. It's, it's just the, it's just the worst Christmas. Like, yeah, it, um, you know, knock, knocks, knocks him back. Like, I will actually become the Joker. I will become the Joker. I would rather have the Cinder Block, I think. Uh, Moscow. Moscow is just the worst Chicago. Well, that's still saying a lot. Like, yeah, slow firing rate and also pushes he back slightly. Oh yeah, you get extra HP as well. Even though it's not a lot of HP, it's still something. It's the worst Chicago, but it's still an ultra kill tier. I'd say below the man noob shotgun. Actually, no, I think about like equals. J just slightly below. Uh, Nokia. Uh, this is kind of like the football, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not like him um, thingy at all, no. Yeah, no, this isn't great. Is this very much a combo weapon? But like, it's still not. Great still. Yeah, no. It kind of goes into the it it's kind of just like a better bottle and freeze ray, actually. Now that I'm think now that I'm thinking about it. It deals damage, yeah, but like you also have to wait a while still. Uh the knot. The knot is good. <laughs> yeah, sends them flying backwards. It's funny. And then you get explosive nuts, which are extremely funny. Yeah, and then there's zombie survival as well, which I haven't checked it for myself, but apparently it's ridiculous. Yeah, they one-shot zombies in uh, zombie survival. That's really good, yeah. This is absolutely why I have, um... I, I, I think it actually goes top of Superior Pacific maps and modes. Just because it can one-shot zombies in zombie survival. Paddle, I agree, it does kind of suck. Yeah, 100% accuracy. Doesn't do a lot of damage, you have to wait a little bit. It's, it's very much a whatever item. It deals damage, yeah. It's definitely more usable than um, a lot of these weapons. But I think it would definitely be in a uh, wee ball tier. I'm thinking... Thinking just below the flying gilly... Um, no, actually, I think... I think above for real. I think above for real. Uh, pants is a combo item, which automatically um, does not help its chances. It is very slow. It's spammable, but it is very slow. It does go through people. But, like, it also, like, doesn't hurt multiple people. Because, like, if you're gonna make it go through people, like, why not just, like, deal damage to them? Yeah, I don't like this thing. I will become the Joker. I do think it's better than the DVD logo. Actually, no, I think it's slightly worse, because the DVD logo can bounce off people and deal multiple damage, but, yeah. Pineapple. Oh, it does- it does a lot of knockback, actually. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, the pineapple's kind of good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of football because it goes in a straight line, actually. Yeah, uh, definitely not ultra kill tier, but definitely above. I'd say even, um, yeah, I think below the APC. Yeah, no gravity either. Like, it goes in a straight line. Uh, the pinger fucking sucks. The projectile is slow, doesn't pierce, doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, no, I don't like pinger. At least it's ranged, yeah. At least it's ranged in, like, some fucking items. No, I don't like Pinga. I think it's more usable than Misery. And I think it's just below bowl of delectable food. A uh, pirate sidearm. I like this weapon. I like this weapon a lot. You have four shots. Pretty good. Already like a decent weapon. And you have treasure burst. Which knocks him back and deals 65 damage. It's good. I look like an abomination. I tell you, I really like the pirate sidearm. I'd say I would rather have it than the fancy seal. Not 
Earth Tome now. Pixel Gun. Pixel Gun's really meh. It is pretty meh. Honestly. It's a little slow, but you know, it still hits scan. It still hits scan. Eight shots to kill someone. Or seven, actually. Because I believe it does more damage when you're up close. Yeah. Yeah, this has damage fall off, which is fine. Yeah, you need eight kills for the pixel rifle, which is more than most of the other um, hit scan weapons that have upgrades. But once you get the pixel rifle, you're just playing Call of Duty. Pixel rifle absolutely goes in ultra kill tier. No questions about it. It's just a better Chicago. Pixel gun itself, I'd say, um, right above Marksman Revolver. I would actually have this over the Marksman Revolver. Uh, the PM9 Evil Gun. I, this is a new one as well. Ah, jump scare. Me after the lobotoming. Yeah, you, you get filled with shit posts whilst you use it. It does good damage, though. Oh, you can hold it down. I wasn't sure you could. It's kind of random. You get, you get punished for hitting your shots. Yeah, it's good, though. It's still a really good weapon, I'd say. I think it's just about the airpod shot. I don't think it's as good as the crossbow, because you don't get jump scared by the crossbow. Uh, puffer gun. Uh, puffer gun's kind of weird. Cause like, I don't think it does too much damage, but it poisons. Yeah, it does 25 damage, but it poisons. Oh, well, that poison will actually last quite a while. Yeah, I can see that. I, no, actually, no, I think it's a slightly better pinger. Even though it has an arc, but like, realistically, that arc's not gonna matter too much. It's still, um, I will become the Joker tier, but it's better than pinger. Uh, the realistic MP5. Now, this is very heavily RNG based. But my god, when it works, it works. Like, you just shred through them. But obviously, the reload takes a while as well. And RNG tier, we're not adding any more tiers. I don't, I don't mind using this. I'm always happy when I get it. But it's definitely super RNG based. So I'd say... I'd say below, like, all these other guns. It's better than Christmas. Rebar is funny. These are solid objects you're throwing at them. And yeah, they don't do a lot of damage. But you can spam the hell out of them. And because these are solid objects, you can get yourself in some wacky situations. Especially since these have no gravity. The giant enemy spider. It's good. I don't mind rebar at all. I don't mind it. Although I do think it's more definitely a fuck it rebar weapon. Because I would actually rather have a lot of these other weapons. I think about here is about right. Roulette shotgun. This is also very heavily RNG based. But unlike the um, MP MP5, you can actually like decide the outcome. So let's see what we got here. Five lives, three blank. That's good. So I do 105 at point blank and 120 with the handsaw. That's kind of shit, actually. There's actually no reason to use the handsaw at that point. Yeah, there's no, not really a reason to use the handsaw on the um, roulette shotgun. I think just above America. Actually, no, just below America, I think. And yeah, I think I'd actually have... Um, nah, I think here's fine. Scrumptious beverage is actually really good. It ragdolls them and deals... 50 damage. It's good. I mean, it does have an arc, but like, realistically, you're still going to be hitting them more often than not. Yep. This is better than Mad Sheriff anyway, even if it didn't ragdoll, because it recharges much quicker. Yeah. Uh, this will go, I'm thinking, fuck it, we ball. Right below, I think above King Tusks, actually. Shopping cart. Oh, God. I don't like shopping cart. Yeah, no. No, fuck this. This weapon actually sucks. Better than the freeze ray. A small pebble. This has some interactions with a couple of items, namely um, Ultra Instinct and Twilight. It does a decent amount of damage, but it's also pretty difficult to hit. It's difficult to hit if um, people are moving. People are saying it's not better than freeze ray. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. I'd say... Uh, where's it gone to? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you do that, you just die. Ball Pebble, it's 
very much a wee ball weapon. Like I said, this cannon this will either insta-kill you if you hit someone with Ultra Instinct, or will insta-kill anyone with Twilight. And at that, at the very least, we'll get it above Joker tier. Uh, the Spear! I don't like this weapon either, although I know for a fact it can do some pretty wacky shit with some other items, namely the, um... Yeah, it can do some... Uh, the Spear can do some wacky shit if the other player has Ice Cream Treat, for example. Other than that, though, it's not great. It's very much a combo weapon, but you can also, like, do a bit of trolling like this. You just do that. <laughs> On certain maps. So, like, it's okay. It's definitely a wee ball weapon. I think I would actually rather have the small pebble, though. A uh, spin bot brings me pain. Mostly because I'm a TF2 player, but even still, like, I can't deny it's a really good ranged weapon. Yo, know, easy three shots. Also, has, also deals more damage to the head. Okay, no, it's four shots, actually, but yeah. Does more damage on a headshot. Yeah. I don't mind the spin bots on this. I think it's better than a lot of these other weapons, actually. I think it might be better than the, um, I think it's just below the evil gun. Actually, no, I think it's above the evil gun because of its range. Yeah, just don't use it in first person because it's basically unusable. Uh, SSG-08. <laughs> it's just a better spin bot. Because, like, this always three shots. And two sh shots if you get at least one headshot. Which is already really good. Get enough kills for the SSG. Eventually, Chai, I promise. There we go. You'll get Simple's private training lessons. And then you get the most powerful gun in the game. Because it will one-shot. Yeah. SSG-08, top of Doom 2 Super Shotgun. Orb, top of Ultra Kill. It's simple as that. Heh, <laughs> simple. <laughs> uh, Stomp is kind of mid. I mean, it's good on certain maps and others. So, like, already that's, like, going for it. It does miss often against players. Like, it does it does send them flying upwards. It's kind of weird, though, because, like, sometimes you just... It looks like hit them, but you don't. Like that. Stomp is okay. I don't mind it. But I would rather have a bunch of other weapons. Like, I think I'm um, just below Asteroid. Yeah, it can go through walls. Ooh, the suppressed pistol. The suppressed pistol is by far, like... I think it's probably my favorite gun. Like, yeah, the SSG-08 is more powerful. But this, this one's just still my favorite. Yeah, at least a six-shot kill. Does more damage on a headshot. And then you get Pro Hitman training. So you get suppressed Mac 10 and you just delete them. You just delete anyone in your path. And with ammo to spare. Realistic MP5 was unrealistic. Uh, suppressed pistol, um, I think goes above crossbow, just below SSG-08. Suppressed Mac 10 goes above AirPod AA-12. Supreme Brick, um, it's kind of just like the um, Nokia, isn't it? Okay, it ragdoll. Yeah, it's just like, um, it's just a better Nokia, I think then. So at least this one can actually does some decent damage. It does have an arc to it, but like it's not a huge deal if you're only like sending it straight forward. Yeah, there's actually a real supreme brick. I'm aware. And I think it's really fucking stupid. It's extra stun and headshot, really. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, if you aim for the head. Like, it does insane amounts of stun. That's still really good. It's an upgrade to the Nokia. Just enough to where I'd say I'd, I wouldn't mind balling with it. Uh, the Taser. The Taser is just kind of like a better freeze gun, honestly. Isn't it? Yeah, it does 45 damage. And it's hit scan, basically. Deals less damage the further away you are, which is fine. Yeah, this is much better for combos. Uh, obviously, if someone has the Franklin badge, um, you're fucked, but it does enough damage to where I'd say, like, you can use this as just a regular weapon, even without um, anything else. Yeah, I'd say it's probably, um, I think it might actually just be the bottom of a uh, Doom 2 Super Shotgun. Oh, that seemed right. I'm thinking that's about right. Uh, the man. This, this, is, this is just the, this is just the Nokia again. It, it's just, it's just the Nokia, but slightly better. But, like, not as good as the, um, Supreme Brick. It's just the worst Supreme Brick and a better Nokia. And that's it. Shopkeeper dummy feeds him. Yeah, the man is cute. But it still goes down here and I will become the Joker, to be quite honest. I think it's better than, um, just below Puffer Gun, I think. Throwing Dart. Um, this is a new one. So I don't know, like, everything that's going on with this. Okay, so it's a spammable weapon. <laughs> and they pop. No gravity, so, like, it always goes in a straight line, which is nice. It's okay. Yeah, it's actually kind of like a slightly better red ball. Even though it doesn't bounce around, but, like, 
Yeah. It's a bit of a red ball, but like not by much. Now this is explicitly a Bloons Tower Defense 6 ref. This is explicitly a Bloons reference because of the kill animation. They just pop like a balloon. And a trench shotgun. Ooh, trench shotgun is kind of good. Yeah, it, this thing can one shot. The only thing holding it back, I think, is just a very slow reload. You also have a thrust, which knocks him back. Which is nice, you know, can be useful. Obviously, because it's a shotgun, it'll have a slightly low range. I really like the trench shotgun. I think just below crossbow, I think I would actually rather have the crossbow. Uh, unrelenting force is whatever, I guess. You know, you push people with it. And that's it. This is very much a very good weapon in specific maps. Because the knockback is insane. So yeah, I think probably um, just above media. Not as good as not. Yeah, you can knock people into the void. But like, it really depends on the map. Like on the map I'm on right now? No, absolutely not. Vampire knives. <laughs> okay, so I know I've said the suppressed and pistol Mac 10 are my favorite guns. This is my favorite ranged weapon in the game. Already does a pretty good amount of... um. Damage, we're not close. But the health you get from it is actually insane. And the fact that you can spam it a bunch as well. Like, this is, like, this is the best weapon you can get for boss fights. This is the best weapon you can get for zombie survival. This is the best weapon you can get for a bunch of game modes. I'd say it's just right below the ARP. Because the ARP, you can just instant kill everything. The vampire eyes just keep you alive. For like so so much longer it's that good Vuvuzela and uh, Vuvuzela is just kind of like a worse unrelenting force isn't it still ragdolls still pushes them not as far though and doesn't do a lot of um damage it has less cooldown though so I'd say below um like all these I'd say above ground javelin actually no um I'd say slightly worse brimstone thinking about it because yeah because it's forcing you to stop what is the rock cooking do you know chat because i sure as hell don't yep this one just um random bullshit go like it, it's just a bunch of random status effects like you got you got turn um, burning you got frozen you got turn um, curse yeah, it's a British bazooka, but way better. Like, you're absolutely stun-locking people with this thing. They get frozen for way longer, too. Yeah, this weapon is good. The rock is actually cooking, chat. Um, I'd say it's... Uh, it's better Christmas, actually. I do think it's a better Christmas. Uh, yeetable port. Yeah, this is another new one, I believe. We're, we're approaching the end now, chat. Uh, hits him, and it... Makes him bleed for a little bit. Does it go through them? No. Yeah, it's very accurate. It's basically a paper airplane. But like... It kind of sucks. Yeah. This isn't great. I would become the Joker, but I think it's better than still a lot of these other ones. And finally, the final ranged weapon on this tier list. The Zapper. And Zapper... Yeah, it got nerfed. But even still, it's really good. Because again, hit scan, hits anywhere. Ragdolls them if you hit them whilst an enemy is in the air, which is good. No, this doesn't have hitboxes because this is um, um hit scan. Oh, you see invisible people. Uh, that is because I have um thingy turned off. Uh, I have photosensitive mode off. On if I turn it off, there you go. That's why. I, that's why there wasn't showing up. It takes some skill to use. It takes some skill, but it's still really good. I, I never get mad when I get the zapper. Yeah, and you can see people, invisible people. This is definitely up here, I think, somewhere. I think I would rather have this than the um, 9mm. Um, yeah, I think that is about right. So, that is the tier list chat room. Uh, thank you all very much for tuning in, like I said. Uh, in the description, there's a link to this tier list I've made. The Misk is probably going to be the largest one because we have to go for everything like the, that the Fortnite card can give. We have to go for like all the stands, all the buddy spells and shit. There's a lot we have to do there, but... And obviously, if you have any um, opinions of your own, I don't care. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, special thank you to Taser Mig, Mago's Artistic Corner, Jaden Rod123, Apple Mouse, and I am Tired7846 for becoming Black Mages. I appreciate all of your support.